I finally decide to try one of these rechargeable air dusters. This one was on sale at Amazon, so I thought it was worth a shot. So many of them look about the same, and they very well may be. This one is the FFG Compressed Air Duster, model 01AD-Y20. Okay, let's see what's in the box. A long nozzle with a not so small opening. A brush nozzle. Now that looks like that could come in handy. A USB-A to USB-C, almost certainly a charge only cable. A mini manual. A four page mini manual with operating instructions. So it's three speeds. I would bet there is no need for the low two speeds. Charging instructions. Use a two amp USB charger. So not recommended to charge on a standard USB port. That's fine. So comes with a special tip to blow up plastic inflatables. That I would like to see. And the specifications. Boy that rated power stands out. Wonder how much of an exaggeration that is. And now the blower itself. Really feels quite nice. Button has a pretty solid feel to it. Not bad. There's that special tip for the inflatables. And we have a short nozzle and looks like some kind of adapter. Not bad for $35, if it works. Going to charge it up. There is a tiny pinhole with a red flashing LED. Very hard to see. Impossible, I'm sure, on camera, but it is there. Do have to hold down the button for about three seconds to get it to turn on in low speed. Next press moves to medium speed and then press again to move to high speed. Then press again to turn off, or I guess more accurately it moves to standby mode. It can be turned back on with just a short press of the button. With each press it just cycles through each mode. And yep, three speeds is a waste. Will be more of an aggravation than anything else. I didn't have anything inflatable. Couldn't even find a balloon around the house. So let's see what it does with a nitro glove. Well, that's a lot more than I was expecting. Wow, I'm impressed. The blower delivers a lot more pressure than I would have imagined. But I didn't get the thing to blow up balloons. I got it to see if I can replace canned air. Here it is using the long nozzle. It is moving a lot of air. I do wish the nozzle was a little smaller in diameter, but it's not too bad. The large nozzle, of course, won't fit in the tight spots the wand on the canned air will. But this is doing a good job. I'm pretty pleased with that. It definitely moves more air than canned air, which is great for blowing out large areas. Yes, I like it. It's a bit more noisy than canned air, but not a whole lot more. I'm thinking the brush nozzle might work quite well. And it does seem to do a very good job on fan blades. Yes, I think this will probably be the main nozzle I use with it. Now it doesn't say anything about the brush being anti-static or the blower itself, so probably won't be running it over PC boards. Just let the air do the job there. And if it's too stubborn an area, I have a natural bristle brush I can use. But for getting in nooks and crannies, I think this brush nozzle will work great. I think this will reduce the amount of canned air I use by quite a bit. This thing cost about what a dozen cans of canned air would, but it's not all about the cost. Canned air is not compressed air. Most of it I've used over the last few years is difluoroethane. It's supposed to be safe, but if you don't have to breathe in a chemical, why do it? So if this thing will last for say 10 cans of canned air, I will consider that a win. I can't just stop here. I need to know how it's made. That's a lot of air pressure for such a small blower. There are five screws that I can see in the case, four small screws, and one very tiny screw.
it's being held together by this bottom plastic piece. I don't feel any screws under the label. I'll just pull the label off, just in case there is some kind of fastener under it. Nope, no screws. Didn't need that label on there anyways, just made it look cheaper. Must be plastic clips holding it, and they must be pretty strong, as I am putting quite a bit of pressure on it. Oh yeah, quite a large lip there holding it in place. That won't even be easy to put back on. Already a bit dusty inside and I haven't used it that much. Looks like the battery pack is made up of three 18650 lithium ion cells. So that's a pretty good bit of power. Has a thermosistor to monitor the pack temperature. Well, at least one of the cells. Going to be very careful pulling this screw out. This battery pack is almost fully charged. If I drop it and short something out, it's going to be toast. The battery pack and motor assembly plug into the control board. I find that a bit surprising. They're not trying to make it the cheapest way possible, so that's nice. Looks like a nicely made PC board. The three connectors are SMD parts and the switch is through hole. Well, haven't torn it up yet. That LED is in a really bad spot. No wonder can hardly see it through the hole near the USB jack. There's a filter on the output side of the blower. And a pretty good sized little motor. It's a coarse filter, but if using it to blow out a lot of dust, and that's what I plan on using it for, taking this thing apart to clean that filter might be a regular occurrence. They may have put that filter there just in case the impeller comes apart. Don't want shards of stuff blowing out the end of it. The gasket is stuck to the cover in a spot. I don't want to tear it. I think can see good enough. Oh wow. The impeller is made of aluminum. Maybe it does turn at 50,000 RPMs. And it already has some dust hung around the vanes. That might be the most expensive part of the blower. At least right up there with the motor and batteries. Let's see if I can get it back together without shorting anything out. A little spot for the battery wires to fit in. I'm worried those springs on the button are going to pop out and touch something. Okay, got the screw in without dropping it on anything. Yes, success, it still works. Put the screws back in the case. Yeah, that bottom cap. I may have to make some modifications to it. I think the inside of this thing are going to need to be cleaned quite often. Maybe I should make some kind of input filter for it. That's what it really needs. The three speeds is just a pain. Needs to be push on, push off. No need for low or medium speed. Also, the standby time only lasts about a minute. Needs to be closer to 10 minutes. Picking it back up and having to hold the button for three seconds to get it to turn back on is just an irritation. Those are the two biggest aggravations I see. Not deal breakers, but can tell no one really used it after designing it. On the positive side, it moves a lot of air, 
and at a much higher air pressure than I would have expected. Now with the long nozzle and at high speed I get a little over 18 minutes of run time. So with no nozzle it probably would reach the 20 minutes of their spec. Plenty good enough. I think I'm going to enjoy using it. Thank you for watching.